Bulgarian split squats, everybody's favorite. Uh, with these, it's really important that you're starting out in a comfortable stance away from the bench. So I like to start out uh, having a pad or something on the floor that I can bring my knee to just to give me a consistent spot or a consistent depth to get to on every rep. But also with the pad, it's not as rough as the floor, so you don't have to worry about like smashing your knee on the ground. So I have the pad on the floor. And what I wanna do is make sure when I'm setting up for this, I don't want a ton of weight on my back foot. So my back foot that goes on the bench, I'm gonna go on the top of my foot. So the top of my foot is on that bench and all of my weight goes to my front foot. You may see some people put their toes on the bench like this. I don't really like that. I feel like it's, it's very distracting. Most people don't have the mobility for it. So I like to rest my back foot on the top of my foot on that bench. Weight would be loaded at the sides, abs tight, butt tight, butt squeezed and chin down. That's your starting position. So if I'm holding two weights, I want to think about like I'm punching the weights to the floor, shoulder blades back with my chin down, resting my back leg lightly on the bench. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about bringing my back knee down and behind me all the way down till it touches the pad. And then I'm grabbing the floor with my front foot. And what I mean by that is my big toe, my small, my baby toe, my heels, and the ball of my foot are all on the ground. And I'm thinking about grabbing the floor like a monkey trying to pick something up off the floor with his foot. And I'm going to come all the way down, inhale on the way down, drive through the floor, exhale on the way up. 